What's up, gamers? <laughs> Playing the good video game, The Binding of Isaac, today, featuring the Isaac character with the D6, but my D6 looks a little bit weird. It's got a bit of a godhead aura to it. See, the thing is, is I've been kind of craving a just regular run where I just go on about and do my thing, have fun playing The Binding of Isaac, but I also want to make sure it's not bland or whatever. Keep it very nice and spicy. So I found this mod while browsing the workshop. And before I continue, I'm just gonna check this treasure room and I get metronome and it's gonna give me death certificate it right now. Okay. Uh, Reroll hemoptysis. Man, we know the moment I take that, I'm just gonna forget about it in next room. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get a roll, but eh, well, better than taking it, honestly. Anyway, so yeah, I found this mod on the workshop that basically makes it so every single quality four has a godhead-esque variant. And I just thought, whoa, okay, that's kind of sick. And it's a simple enough mod that it's really cool, because I, I like looking at all the sprites, so I've made it a goal for myself to see as many quality fours on this run as possible, which is why we're playing Isaac, and so maybe we can uh, naturally encounter one of these sprites. Do I use one of my three bombs to do something crazy and buck wild as this? I think I do. Oh my goodness. Six cents. I'm a rich man. Uh, definitely not gonna get a roll. So I'll just try my best to remember Hemoptysis is a thing. Uh, and maybe we can use it for some damage on this boss. Now, unfortunately, we have no items. We didn't really get anything from the treasure room. So we have no damage against this boss. Probably the most annoying thing about Hemoptysis is the fact that the curse doesn't work if you don't have Brimstone. So it's just kind of like a, a blowback. We can maybe do wall damage. Yay. <laughs> Our passive for today is Torn Photo. I'm happy about that. That's kind of fat, actually. And I think we'll go down for downpour uno let's begin lots of stuff happening in the world recently gta 6 got revealed kung fu panda got revealed a lot of cool media i cannot tell you how insane 2023 was for like my personal interest it feels like i was just catered to and honestly who knows maybe next year is the year of isaac fortnite i can't believe i'm unironically saying that i don't even really play fortnite it's more just like it sounds funny in my head but i'm still willing to take the w a lot lost my deal chance though. I, I feel like I suck. I ghosted a lot of work for the enemy team. Sucks too. There's a tinted rock right here with two soul hearts waiting about, but unfortunately still no keys. And of course, any quality fours that we don't manage to come across, I'm sure I will showcase off in a wonderful glamorous fashion because I do want to see all the sprites. Also, Godhead itself got respritted, so I do want to see if we can find that. Uh, not the greatest odds of my current deal chance, but hey, things can happen. Never lose hope. Guys, I'm losing hope. It is what it is. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Carry on. Move on. Things happen. Don't let them know how much pain you're in. Can I really not get <laughs> as the treasure room? Are you serious? Hold on. Secret room, please. This has got to have something. There you go. What a clutch key. This will be the treasure room of my dreams. Usually, if I don't like the left item, I just take the blind. And if it's an active, I reroll it. But here, I'm going to go buck wild. Do something I've never done before. Uh, and... Do I just take that book, actually? I was just gonna reroll right away, but... Nah, I should just do this. Okay, that's good, that's good. I wanted to take it for Bookworm, but I was afraid that the risk-reward really isn't that incredible. 1-3 Bookworm for a potential extra item, in case that left item which turned into 8-inch nails wasn't 8-inch nails. Let's say it was, like, something poopy, like the poop. Then I would have had an out, but everything kind of worked out for me, and now I have damage... DPS and a bunch of soul hearts. So now I really want to try going for this devil and we can start rolling some things. And hey, what about the game awards? Who watched the game awards? I feel like every award was kind of like neatly placed. It all made sense except Pizza Tower. I will ride that till the day I die. That was a robbery. I just witnessed a crime once he said Cocoon. I was like, excuse me. Now, that being said, I should reserve judgment because I've literally never played Cocoon. But there's no way Pizza Tower does uh, whatever. Who cares? I'm moving on. I'm a Binding of Isaac channel. <laughs> I think now is the best time than ever to just take on this boss. It's just her lit. I think we can tank them. Oh, you see the you see the marksmanship? That was kind of nasty. Mr. Belly, one of my favorites. Beautiful stuff. And in here, that's uh wow, that is really good. We buy you. We can do something like this. Get our red heart back. Then roll Abaddon, sure, we get rid of our red heart, it turns into a black heart. Nice! Go on Casper real quick, sorry. <laughs> you guys remember when I said I wouldn't forget him up distance? 
Listen, you cannot blame me for not remembering that that item exists right after I land that god devil room that we had. Double Guppy Ma the Void into Abaddon. Hello? That is insane. I believe we can just go fight the boss super easy. Oh, hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, Ma the Void should take care of Turlet very easily. As long as we have one available the moment they split, which I should right now, it's completely over. We got a tears up, which doesn't matter, but I felt like I should take it uh, just because I am more interested in rerolling the treasure room because it can go into treasure pool with more variety. Hey, little gish, who guessed that one? Who's the, who guessed that one? One of you did, congratulations. You now have to go on Mr. Beast Squid Game season two. I can't believe it. Who doesn't have keys? Are you insane? Hold on, there's no way I missed everything. No, would you look at that? I missed everything. Well, alright, I can't believe it, but I guess we're going for planetariums today. Could pan out, and honestly, Dross 2 is probably the latest I would feel like it's acceptable to go for planetarium play. If you miss a treasure room on, like, Mines 1 or something at that point, I'm like, ooh, that's kind of... Yikes, you know, you kinda, it's probably not gonna pan out for ya. But that's okay, cause we're on Caves Dose and I'm sure it's right around the corner. As we near the end of the year, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to all the gamers of the world. Keep on gaming. That's all I have to say about that. All right, now we finally do have a key and as tempted as I am to go inside the treasure room. Shop's the smarter play cause it could also just have a, never mind, you're a little asshole, I hate you. Get out of here. And I only get money. Damn. Well, Caves 2 Greed doesn't seem like the worst thing. Because that doesn't mean that I'm going to have at least one guaranteed good shop on Depths 1 or Depths 2. Could maybe get a double good shop, but I expect Super Greed to happen any moment now. I'm pretty sure the way that it works is Greed has to show up, and then the next time Greed would show up, it becomes Super Greed. Oh! No way! <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even see this! Okay, that's, that's actually nuts. I can't believe that. That's really lucky. Wait, don't do this to me. You can't do this to me. I mean, I have slots. It's okay. Severe lack of bombs and keys. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the key on the planetarium and not the treasure room. Are you insane to think anything otherwise? I would say so. Boom, Terra. Oh, yeah! I actually cannot believe that happened to me, but nice. Come down here, we finally get three bombs. It took a lot of work, but the puzzle pieces were set up. I made the right order of operations, and I was able to access everything I wanted. And now I'm rewarded with a restocked treasure. What are we gonna get from this? Chemical peel is okay. Fortune cookie deserves an at least, uh, you know, boop, use it. Mongo. I don't really have conjoined, so I'd rather just keep moving on. And uh, we get that thing. Oh god. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's not useless, I'll tell you that much. This might become one of those long caves floors because an opportunity has presented itself and I will take advantage. So check this out. I'm gonna yoink everything. All right, boom, here's one smelter. Not very useful, but it is useful in the fact that it exists. You can plop this down again, and now it's time to re-roll. Three secret room items coming right up. Oh my god, dude. Whoa, that Archie looks actually sick. I, 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 I love it. <laughs> it looks like it literally has a godhead aura. I don't want TM Trainer, because then all the godhead sprites are going to get messed up. Do I take Archie with me, or am I just happy to see it? I think I'll hold it just to say that I held it, uh, and then I, I'll leave it be, because that's exactly what we wanted to see. We just wanted to see the quality four items, and we got it. But the D6 is far too powerful and more interactive than an Archie. That's the genuine reason why I like like D6 over RQ to be honest with you. If I have the opportunity to take both on a run, I'll probably take the D6 because that one takes more brain power than press space bar at the end of the game. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, press space bar at the end of the game is a fair way to play. And honestly, there's reasons why that exists. Having the ability to have a god item where you turn off your brain and do whatever the hell you want in Isaac is uh, very, very useful. But I am looking for brain stimulation. So I'm going full dice. All right, let's fight this boss real quick. Chub should be no problem. Even the big man green chub. Just because you're super slow and thick and have a bunch of HP does not mean you can defeat me. No deal. That's okay. I don't care. Give me the range up. And now I got to take some self damage. Let's do the boss challenge room and get one final roll. Oh, oh, I see my issue. Well, I don't think there's any coming back from this. Unless there's a 48 hour energy or hit the god super secret room that 
might just be it, boys. Tears up, though. And health up makes up for everything in my mind. Honestly, I've been gassing up Isaac's tomb recently, but I have not been taking it because I've been complaining that it doesn't do anything. So, how about we just have fun with it anyways? Look on the bright side of everything. This is its opportunity to give me the super duper mega rare, like 0.2% sacred heart out of nowhere. A cursed room. Don't need that just yet. Low on HP. Open and then this. Oh, hello. Open this up. Give me holy crown. That is a god trinket IMO. Very exciting news for us. And we already found the treasure room right away. I felt like it would have probably been better to go big room instead of skinny room if I was trying to find some stuff. Cover more space, you know what I mean? Looks like the legendary map man map gambit paid off and it gave me... Oh yeah, let's go! But I re-roll it. Oh, okay, fine. I'll take and join. <laughs> I realize what's happening is the Maw of the Void is synergizing with Terra and making it so my Maw of the Void is just kind of like a Wrecking Crew crane game type deal. I kind of just destroy rocks. I am the construction crew and I still land this deal chance because you know I do. Okay. I think large play at hand, shop incoming. Remember that when we do encounter our shop that has uh, items, we have to hard commit because we have a chance at the other one uh, being super greed. This is where we make our difference, I think. Yes, I'm bombing secret rooms with Terra. Yes, I realized I could have found the super secret room on the last floor. Yes, I'm realizing this all now. Who cares? I got the- oh, What the hell? <laughs> I believe that's actually a luck chance to ha have that happen. So, uh, just literally unlucky. Roll. Hey, could pan out. Not so much. Don't worry, lads. You just never give up. That's the main way you win. As long as you never give up, they can never say you won. Oh, am I really not going to get a final roll? That kind of sucks. Maybe a saving grace in this curse room. Final reveal. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know what they say. Like I said, it is what it is. Guess I'll be taking you, but there's still hope. I know, I don't know how, but there is always going to be hope because now we have a judgment. I just keep getting led on by this game, I swear. Please be something good. I mean, it, it genuinely was something good. I can't complain. The game leads you on, man. It leads you on uh, onto these like wonderful adventures only for it to realize uh, that the game actually hates you. But that's actually the biggest bait of all because the game actually does love you. And this is where I prove it right now because we get a coin beggar with super greed in here so this man will be paying out instant secret room we have the whole floor to explore there it is what is what is wrong with you <laughs> i can't believe this i i um uh, this better be like something amazing i'm so sad i'm just buying everything whatever voodoo head humbling bundle very good items what kind of blind man hey lost fly is good though wow i'm finding everything in this little corner eternal heart as well we'll take it and i think we're good to just speed run to the boss honestly all right, mom fight time. Hello. Just read mom, probably the easiest mom. Also gave me a free tinted rock. What are you doing trying to stop that fly? Everyone knows you gotta swat it. Polaroid definitely because I have holy crown trinket. Two heart deal I will be doing. I get lord of the pit. Eh, it's okay. I was kind of expecting brimstone. Boom, reroll. I get a little delirium. I hate it here. Let's go. Open you up. Ooh, hoo, hoo. see, I rather have this. Do I really? I do. Is that a hard decision? Am I weird for making that a hard decision? It feels like it should be obvious. I think it's just because I just took the Polaroid with the intent of Holy Crown paying off. So, you know, five seconds later, I back up on my decision. It feels wrong. But I think just Crystal Key is far too strong. Every, I mean, look at it. It's not just the potential for an Ultra Secret, you have to realize. It's also just the extra charges on your active item. The better your active item, the more value you get out of this. And uh, I kind of have the best active item in the game. Um, Actually, that certificate is the best active item. You know what I was trying to say. Uh, yeah, let's go fight. No better time. Already blow up a keeper. Already have the best chance I'm probably gonna get. And reveal is... Why did the music stop? I didn't finish the boss yet. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ew. Okay, that's better, I guess. But it does nothing for me. Actually, by definition, it's worse. Ooh. That's pretty useless, again. Same scenario. But I'm happy it showed up. Should I re-roll? I think I do. Isaac's not dancing, but it turned into slipped rib. Eh, it's okay. I could probably roll it again. Oh, hi. Oh my god, they look sick! It happened, I got like everything I wanted. <laughs> wow. That's, that's actually incredible. I can't, wow, I got it. 
Uh, what do I do in this scenario? I abyss? No, if I abyss, I would lose all these pedestals. It's not the best thing to do, unironically, to just re-roll this all. I'll take the satanic, I suppose. And then I'll take the abyss, just to put it on the pedestal, and say that I picked up the abyss, because it does look cool. And now we're rolling, and we get Damocles, and this, I think, is exactly what the run needed. It needed Damocles. This is what we're gonna be doing. I'll even take Purgatory. I am so happy that I found that deal. Uh, yeah, that deal kind of changed everything for me i feel like we are kind of balling now i must remind myself though do not take damage anymore this is not a drill this is not a joke i have to reaffirm myself don't do it it won't be funny you'll regret it just kidding i have dead cat i just realized we're okay do whatever we want fight roll for this one 20 volt i'll take it we go next floor let's kill it lives I think the Damocles into massive amount of red room spawning play is gonna be the best thing for us. We're gonna have so many rolls to work with because of Crystal Key. The Damocles will give us the I'm gonna die. It's so weird because I know I have Dead Cat too, but I feel like I should still be playing fast because I want to take advantage of Damocles while it's still here. At least I know I can get hit. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Goodbye, it lives. Uh, no deal. Very unlucky. That sucks. Uh, God, I'm leaving though. Another one. Cancer. It's incredibly good such a good trinket but like crystal key is way better <laughs> it's more interesting rather i should say i think it's time we start kind of going a lot faster and blazing our way through because right now is the most important time than ever to confirm that damocles will do a thing oh my god hold on oh my god uh this is kind of hard school bag i think i die no i'm okay roll Ooh, wow, that sucks. <laughs> do I want to roll again? I so badly do. That was like really bad. There's so much to do. Okay, whatever. Damocles can fall. Black market's more important and it's more hype. Anything you hear? TP? Oh, I was right. I didn't have a uh, roll though. That's okay. We can die. I didn't die. I was expecting to die and then come back in. All right. Wait, hold on. There we go. I can die. And then, excuse me. Oh, spirit shackles. I'm sorry. I just want to die. Thank you. <laughs> and then... Uh-oh. No, no, no. There's a fix for this. There's a fix for this. If you uh, actually go as fast as possible, you actually go outside. So then you respawn in here. Then if you die in here, you'll respawn back outside. Yeah, don't ask me why I know that. That's probably happened to me a couple times. Uh, but it's all fixed. I am low on HP now though. And I'm worried about the amount of lives I have because one of them has to be saved for Damocles. And I did a little bit of trolling. So uh, let's just finish up way faster than we currently were. Uh, get a roll and then probably get one more roll and take that to the chest. All right, Isaac's done delirium spawn, but I don't care about you. Black market always takes from shop pool. This has got to be fat, baby. Boom. Honestly, not too bad, actually. Honestly. Nine volt was uh, was worth the price of uh, entry. And look, I can even speed run a little bit later. Never seen this one before. I know like probably 70% of you probably have, but let me just like live my bliss, okay? Boom, boom, boom. And then also bam. Uh, all right, that's cool. Hi, I'm here again. Damocles did Jack Diddley, but that's all right. Whatever. I tried my best, okay? We still have four items sitting in the starting room we still have a ton of potential mega chest right here always love seeing these that's an instant roll as well the nine volt on last floor is going to help a ton and uh make it so that we can get more re can you come over here please <laughs> We're gonna get more rerolls, baby! Oh yeah! I've been waiting all day, about five seconds for this! Ooh, conjoined! Okay, sure. Should I take the Ludo? Because, like, at that point, like, why not? Eh, I don't think so. I think I can run with this a bit longer. If Ludo had, like, a synergy along with it, I might. Uh, but as it stands, Ludo is kind of just gonna be weird, I think. Where? <laughs> World's greatest super secret room or regular? Oh my god, it was a regular. Insane plot twist. I believe in the reroll. Yeah, ooh, hold on. Teleport 2.0 is interesting. Teleport 2.0 actually makes me feel like I should spend the rest of my rolls on that mega chest red key room. Uh, just because it can actually do something for me. And I don't really want to get rid of it. And so if I don't want to get rid of it, it effectively becomes like a two roll room. So at that point, I might as well just, uh, you know, go for the crystal one. All right, could be a misplay, but I'm willing to gamble. Hey, I mean, we get bookworm. That's nice. Roll. Uh, I mean, uh, 
They were better than what they were, I guess. Listen, I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just simply asking for Polyphemus to rear its ugly head. That being said, we actually have gotten a lot of quality cores already. That double one in the devil room is kind of a highlight for me. Satanic Abyss just sitting there. That was sick. Uh, ooh, bot fly. I take it. It gives me Beelzebub as well. I always like completing transformations in my videos. It feels more complete. Uh, but this is probably gonna be my last roll. So let's do something like this to celebrate. We killed Blue Baby super mega ultra fast. Fall to my rocks, thank you and goodbye. Also me, but I still get the kill, so whatever. Uh, come in here, hit the fattest reroll of my life. Uh, not really, but oh well. And I think I got everything, so teleport 2.0. Will take me here. I'm rewarded with a death's touch. Uh, you know what? Okay, thank you. I think that's everything. We did absolutely everything. That's enough for today. I hope you guys had a good one. Just kidding. We're gonna go fight the other enemy. Kidding me? Boom! Check it out. Look at this. We've gone full on Bill Cipher. A third dimension has been unlocked. I really like this free sprite for Godhead, honestly. Magic Mushroom is here, looking a little clownish. Speaking of clowns. <laughs> This is probably the funniest sprite I've ever seen. This is another one I personally wanted to see. Sacred Heart looks unironically dope as hell. It looks like it could be a real item. I love it. And one final one I wanted to check out was this cool look and see section. Of course, there's other ones as well. Twisted Pear, Polly, and all of them. But I'm not going to spoil them all for you. Because at that point, what's the point of playing the mod? So go play the mod yourself, you bozo. Weird looking room start. What the heck is that? <laughs> I've never seen that map start for Isaac before. Here's uh, Isaac's tomb doing things. Yay, soul hearts. This is a very symmetrical void. What is happening here? Is the game trying to tell me something? What is, okay, this is- I'm not making this up. What is this map? This better, like, stop being symmetrical. Thank you. I thought I was in the Matrix. Reroll? Hey, there you go. Ah, that's the juice we're looking for. I honestly think I could probably beat the Lyrium just like this, uh, just because I have access to Book of Shadows. So incredibly powerful. What was this box though? I, I, I'm curious. Missing poster? Uh, it would be funny if I did it as a loss. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, Tech Zero kind of put this run over the edge to where it really needed to be. It felt like this run needed something and Tech Zero was the answer all along. Hello, gate. Simple fight, magic skin, it's time to do the thing. We also have school back. What did I say? That black market would have become clutch. That means magic skin is going to be on our inventory all the time. Meaning magic skin can't show up after I've gone and used it. So let me take the black heart and then plop it in here. Missing page two, we don't need that. Roll. Oh! Hey, there's one! A Godhead Mega Mushroom. That looks so sick, actually. But do I want it? I think, actually, no. And I think to make it even more, more fun, really absolutely test my limits. I'm thinking I use Magic Skin one more time, actually. Okay, well, more. Now it doesn't seem that... Okay, well, I'm not being that much of a risk, am I? <laughs> it's kind of fed me every single thing I needed. Binding of Isaac, but we give you everything you've ever asked for. All right, well, let's go again, I suppose. It's more efficient this way. Oh, that looks so cool! Oh, man, I actually want it! Do I care about Parasite that much, though? Not really. Ah, uh, I'm kidding. Of course I do. I want to use the new Quality 4 thing as well. Boom. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I, I did it wrong. Sorry. I did that completely wrong. Reroll this. It, it's okay, I, I can get it back. In fact, wait a second, that's almost Brimstone. <laughs> did I, like, perfectly mess up? I, I did it wrong. I was meant to put the D6 down and spin it down, but, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take this. I mean, this is, uh, potentially a lot better. Alright, I kinda had a, a, an excessive amount of floor left, actually. Wow, I had so much. I was playing it up to be, like, this dramatic thing, but look how many rooms are here. <laughs> I like opened my eyes and actually like I'm completely minuscule. A dust particle floating through space in comparison to the world right now. But it don't matter to me because I got Godhead Brimstone. And now we can start rolling this again. That's, that's fair. That makes a lot of sense. Could this be? No, this can't be Delirium whatsoever. Here, goodbye. Hey, no way I became Guppy. What? Nice. Get out of jail free card. A lovers for some reason. <laughs> sure, I'll participate in the lover shenanigans, of course. Another roll! Uh, I could become Mega Guppy. I'd love that. Oh, I should have used Lovers first. Boop. My bad. Just kidding. It actually would not have mattered because I want this rainbow. Thank you. Oh my god, what a big bulbous chest for me. What do I- Oh my god, there's another one! I can't believe it! <laughs> Alright, sure. I'll take an Epicac. We, uh, we came across a lot today, actually. A lot. Way, way more than I was expecting. Another roll. Oh! Oh my god, another one. 
Well, honestly, uh, this could not have turned out to be better. This is perfect. I truly did, at the very end, manage to rig it and uh, get everything I really wanted, honestly. Why is there a boss here? What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? You're so weird, Delirium. Literally, everyone point and laugh at this guy. This guy's weird. Uh, but yeah, no, seriously, like I got actually everything. It was such an insane run. And I'm really glad at the very end it all came together and became this nice rainbow thing. Uh, now I am coping by talking because I think I'm gonna die. I have no more defense. I left my Book of Shadows elsewhere and I only have two hearts and not the most damage. Don't telefrag me, please. Thank you. We're good. Wow, all right. Never mind. GG. What a chill day. Maybe maybe that's what the world is trying to tell you right now as you watch this video. Take it easy. Take a chill pill. Congratulations. You finished a Matman video. I hope you feel good. GGs.